I'm Jan from Bumble Tees Fabric and I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on our fabric collage guitar. We have kits available and so this is going to be a fun, quick, easy project. First of all, I'm going to show you what comes in your kit real quickly. You're going to get a piece of patternese that's going to have the guitar shape outline traced on it. You're going to get some colorful strips of fabric, some darker shades, a piece of gray, a square of black, a square of blue, and some florals. Now I'm going to show you what, where all of these pieces go. Um, the gray piece will end up being the shadow on the base of the guitar. The darker colors will be on the neck. The brighter colors, the body. The blue square, you'll cut out your circle. You see the florals, and then the darker shades will be the strips on the neck, and the black piece will be the head of the guitar. Your kit also will come with a sheet that will have the stencil pieces that you need to trace and cut out, and also um, a roll of Easy Steam, which is your adhesive backing that you will use, and an instruction sheet that will have this, these um, instructions written out. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stencil page and you're gonna cut out all of your pieces. And I've already got that done, so I'm gonna show you how to use those in just a second. The other thing you're gonna do is make sure that all your fabric is ironed out before you put your Easy Steam on it. And I've got a piece that I've already put Easy Steam on the back of, so I'm gonna show you that first. You're gonna put Easy Steam on the back of all of your fabric. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your roll and you're gonna cut off a piece the size of your fabric. So I've got a piece here, and I'll just show you as a sample with the black. I cut a piece of Easy Steam about the size of the square. You're gonna take the plain paper side and you're gonna peel it off. You're gonna make sure the sticky stuff sticks with the grid, and you're gonna place it on your fabric. Smooth it out, and then take your iron and iron it down. You're gonna do this with all of your pieces. Now, my suggestion is on your strips to maybe cut them in half and iron on Easy Steam just on half of it to start with because as you go along and start doing your strips, you might decide you want more gold or more orange in your guitar and less of a certain color. So you really don't have to back all of it at first. Um, so once all of that is done, then you're gonna lay out your pattern ease and get ready to get started. I suggest um, after you iron all the Easy Steam on to take your stencil pieces and do those pieces first. So I'll show you with this. I've got the piece of gray that has the paper on it. And you'll notice that this stencil piece on it has a, the words that say trace this side down because you're gonna do it in reverse. So what you're gonna do is put the words down on your Easy Steam and then just take a pencil or a pen and trace around the edge. Once you have it all traced, then you're gonna cut out these pieces. There are two pieces that say trace this side down that need to be reversed. It's this piece, the gray piece, and then the piece that's gonna be your black piece. The circle and the rectangle, it doesn't matter. There's not a right or wrong side, so it doesn't matter which side you place down to trace those. So you're gonna do this, and you're gonna take all of these pieces that need to be traced, and you're going to trace them and cut them out. Okay, once that's done, then you're gonna take your pieces of color that you've done, and you're just gonna cut strips. You can cut them wide, you can cut them narrow. They all need to be different sizes, so it really doesn't matter the size you cut. Um, so I started on here laying it out, and you'll see that they're overlapped, and they also do not have to go inside of this line because you're gonna end up cutting out your guitar. So I'll just show you, you're gonna peel off the paper, make sure the sticky sticks to the fabric, and you're gonna lay it down. Notice how you overlap over the next piece and these overlap end to end too. So you don't want any of this pattern E showing. You can work your way across. You can kind of go over into this area that's gonna be the gray because once your gray piece is cut out, you're gonna lay this down right here on top. 
You're gonna do the same thing with the circle. You don't have to go all the way into here because this is going to cover that up. And then when you do the strips of your neck, the same thing. You wanna start here at this end and you wanna work all the way to this end and just go end to end. You don't wanna go, if you go outside these lines on the edges, it's okay because you're gonna end up cutting that and making a clean line. So you're gonna do the same thing with the darker colors. You're just gonna start laying them down, overlapping them slightly as you go. And then when you place this piece on the end, it's gonna cover up those ends right there. So this is what it's gonna end up looking like. So once you put all of your strips down, then you're gonna lay these top pieces on. You're gonna lay your gray piece on, your circle, and the black piece. Notice on here, on the one I've already done, the black, we just did some um, random shapes on here to add a little detail. You can kind of be creative, do whatever you want to on that. Also in the center, you're gonna take your floral pieces that have the Easy Steam on the back, and you can cut out some of the leaves, you can cut out some of the flowers, and just be creative in the way you lay them down. You do want a little bit of your circle showing so that you see that that's the circle of the guitar. Also, um, on these little rectangle pieces, you can layer different pieces or you can just do one big piece. It really doesn't matter on that. So once you have it all laid down, you're gonna iron it down. You're ironing it onto this pattern ease. It's gonna stick and be permanent once you iron it. So make sure it's in the place that you want it. Once you iron all of this down, you're gonna flip it over and then you're going to just cut around the edge. And you can see here that when you go outside the line, you're just gonna cut it and then you're gonna have your nice clean edge of your guitar. Okay, so once it's cut out, you have a couple different options. In the kit, you have this piece of fabric that came with your kit. So if you're gonna make a pillow or a tote bag or something, you can go on and put it on this piece of fabric. Some people might be wanting to add this applique to a quilt, so you will skip this step. So I didn't glue the whole thing down because I wanted you to see that it has the, the pattern ease on the back. So what I did was I'm gonna turn this into a pillow. So to make it easy to stitch, it needs to kind of be stuck down. I use some spray adhesive that's used for quilting. Um, and so I just sprayed a little under here and, and pressed it down. I'll go back and, and do more when I'm ready to stitch it. You can pin it on. Um, there's various ways just to hold it down while you stitch. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do a lot of stitching on this before I put the pillow together. If you're gonna do a pillow or a quilt or a tote bag, you really wanna make sure that every piece has some kind of stitching on it so that it won't come off, that it will really stay down. So that is really the gist of it. It's very easy. If you have any questions, you can email us at help at bumbletees.net and we'll be glad to help you along the way. And I hope you join us for another tutorial. Thank you.